Welcome once again to keep on learning on learning class. My name is teacher Emmanuel, a teacher of geography. Today we are basically going to discuss about a lock circle. What do you understand by the term the a lock circle? Very many times you hear the word a lock cycle, but you sometimes confuse about its meaning. So I come up as a solution so as to understand that term. When you talk of a rocky circle, is a relationship in which one type of rock can be formed from another type of rock. Meaning that, as we said in the previous episode, we discussed about three types of rock. Genius rock, sedimentary rock, and metamorphic rock. And here, this rock cycle is going to explain how one type of rock can be formed from another. How sedimentary rock can be formed from a genius rock. How metamorphic rock can be formed from sedimentary rock. And how igneous law can be formed from metamorphic. It's what we are going to discuss here below. So to have clear and common understanding about this log cycle, the meaning of this log cycle, it is better to first highlight some of the steps involved in this log cycle. Here, at first, igneous log, at first, this igneous log is formed by cooling and solidification of magma. Remember in the previous episode, we have discussed about the origin of magma. We have said that magma are formed due to radioactive decay, which are in the interior of the earth. Radioactive decay produces a heat, which cause rocks, radioactive decay, it causes rock to melt. Rock to melt. It causes melting of rock. When rocks are melted, when rocks are melt, they will lead to the formation of magma. And it is that magma which is going to cool inside or on the earth surface. When it cools and solidifies, it will lead to the formation of igneous rock. That is how igneous rock is formed. When this igneous rock is attacked by weathering, when it is attacked by weathering, when it is attacked by weathering, there will be formation of log sediments there would be formation of sediments and those sediments will be transported by the agent of erosion and we will be deposited in rolling area after a long period of time they would be compacted and cemented to form a sedimentary rock so that's how a sedimentary rock is formed so 